Welcome to Duel of the Decades workout number two. Part one. This has three two minute AMRAPs in it. The first two minute AMRAP is an AMRAP of handstand push ups or wall walks. The wall walks are not considered scaled. Every rep will count as one. It, it's followed by a two minute AMRAP of synchronized goblet squats. That is followed by a two minute AMRAP of synchronized American kettlebell swings. It then goes into immediately into part two. Part two is a chipper with a 10 minute time cap. It starts with 100 wall balls, 80 toes to bar, 60 American kettlebell swings, 40 pull ups, and 20 partner burpees. If this is completed in less than 10 minutes, in the remaining time, one partner at a time will be performing goblet squats. There are five scores to this workout, the reps from each of the three two minute AMRAPs, the time to complete the chipper, and if you can get there, the number of reps of goblet squats you can get in any time remaining. Handstand push-ups will be done at a wall and with an ab mat. The athlete kicks up to the wall and the rep begins at full extension on the wall. The athlete then lowers himself down until the head makes contact with the ab mat and then presses up to full extension. We will not be using any kind of boxes on the floor, but judges will be looking for excessively wide hand placement. Hands must be in close and at the top of each rep, arms must be completely extended and feet must be in contact with the wall. Kipping is allowed. For the goblet squats. Goblet squats are done picking the bell up off the ground and holding it in the goblet position. The goblet position can be both hands on the bell the way Nick is holding them now. The bell can be upside down, holding it that way. One hand can be through the handle, holding it that way. The bell is allowed to be resting on the chest. The chin is allowed to rest on the bell. The bell is not allowed to be held on the shoulder or on the belly. The bell must be held in the goblet position. The athlete then performs a squat hips below, below parallel, and stands up to full extension at the top. For this, he will have to be doing synchronized squats with his partner. They must be at the top of the rep at the same time. the synchronized American kettlebell swing. Kettlebell starts at the hang and ends completely overhead. We do not care about the orientation of the bell. The bell can be at a different angle, but at the top of each rep, all joints are in line. Again, to be synchronized, we are only looking for the bell to be at the top of the rep at the same time as their partner. For the wall balls, wall ball starts with the ball on the ground. The athlete then picks up the ball to the front rack, passes through the bottom of a squat, and throws the ball to make contact with the appropriate height and target. The athlete is allowed to start by going into the bottom of a squat, picking the ball up to the rack, rising and throwing the ball to the target. The ball must make contact with the target that you are throwing to. Toes to bar.
Toes to bar start with the athlete hanging from the bar and both feet make contact with the bar between the athlete's hands. We do not look for the athlete to break the plane of the bar. We do look for an open hip at the bottom. So again, the athlete must reach an open hip and come up and touch both feet to the bar. We've already gone over the American kettlebell swing. Pull-ups. Pull-ups start with the athlete hanging from the bar at full extension and end with the chin breaking the plane of the bar. This can be done in a kipping fashion. This can also be done in a butterfly fashion. As long as extension is reached at the bottom and the chin breaks, partner, or breaks uh, the plane of the bar at the top. Partner burpees. Partner burpees start with the athlete standing. The athlete then drops to the ground. Chest makes contact with the ground. The athletes touch hands at the bottom of the rep. They then rise and jump. We do not care about the athlete's arms. We only care that a clear jump is displayed. The athletes must touch hands at the bottom of each rep and they must jump at the top. If this is completed in less than 10 minutes, it is an AMRAP of goblet squats. We've already gone over how to hold the bell and how to do a squat.